We got to play Aya for a couple minutes Aya, of walking. Dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. Oh, baby. So we do get to play more Aya, which is awesome. I mean, the quest is called Aya Blade of the Goddess, so thank goodness. And if you remember, the Tomb of Alexander the Great is something that we saw way back, way early in our adventure, and we were unable to reach. And now we can't wait. Aya is level 31. Okay, I was going to say, does she have a skill tree? But she doesn't. There's not even a... Uh, a gear menu, so we can't alter anything that she's got going on. But remember, we did see this tomb, uh, and we were unable to enter, if you recall, way, way back when we first hit Alexandria. So it'll be fun now to figure out how to actually breach and break in. She's a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure hmm. it is. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around. Okay. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. I like how they thought a spear was gonna get through this sealed door. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. hmm. Wonderful. Sneak through. Rats. This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. <laughs> Alright, we're bringing Bayek along. To now uncover and explore the tunnels. And try to find our way through to Alexander and open a path up. Well, I guess Bayek kind of bailed on us, right? Bye, Bayek. Explore these tunnels, see what we can find. I like how Bayek uh, and Aya are like, we, we're, we're kind of chubby now. Although they don't really look it, especially not Aya, but hey, that's blocked off. Completely blocked. But not there. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. Bayek, I hear you, but oh, he is here. Interesting. I think it's so freaking cool that we get to play as uh, as Aya, though. I love this. I hope we get to fight as her. Like, not on a ship, but, like, actually fight as her. And if she had, like, some unique weaponry, that'd be so freaking cool. Or some unique combos. I mean, remember when uh, Bayek surprised us with that weird freaking Street Fighter spinning kick of doom? Can we get in here? No. All right, Aya also has an insane lung capacity. You must run in the, uh, I'm gonna say run in the family, but they're not, they're not even related. They're just married. All right. Got through that gross, stinky water. I don't know if Baya came with us or if he's gonna try to find a way About around. Time you showed up. Where is he? Bayek? Hello? Ooh. <gasps> we definitely found something big. The tomb. The tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> 
whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. There's paintings right. on the wall. Something about the orb. It's going to unlock something. Maybe we'll get a special scepter from the sarcophagus. But in the meantime, let's let these dudes in. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just knock once. Have patience. She got a cape now. The stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It taught me to you vent. Together, we can do more than Alexander did. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Caesar's like, I want to be that dude. I want to be dead inside of that pretty sarcophagus. My like, dude, Caesar, enjoy the time Taking alive. The entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calcul <laughs> Sorry. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. <laughs> Let me try that again. A calculated killer and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. Cool, cool. We get to work together. Team Medjai going to work to save these emissaries who are getting uh, slapped around, it sounds like, by Ptolemy's soldiers. He's frustrated. He knows that Cleopatra is winning over Caesar. I mean, she's already wearing his freaking cape. So that's going to be a bond that's uh, going to be probably brutal for, for the rest of the world, but, but beautiful for them, or at least they think it. I have no idea what's going to happen. But there was mention of the orb and unlocking Alexander the Great's tomb and his sarcophagus, so who knows what's going to happen uh, that way, but I love that we get to play as Aya. Bayek's going to go try to start a brawl to distract, and we are going to come in from above and do things uh, smoke and mirror style. There's Bayek going in to use his brutal melee weapons. Thank God we took him to level 30 so he can be a, a, a valuable ally. We don't want Caesar to uh, be spooked. And step out of the city by going to do work. All right. I have no Senu, right? No, I don't. No Senu, but I do have these stealthy abilities uh, to sneak around. All right. Yep. There's Bayek drawing attention. That's my husband. I was like, hmm. I love to see him slice and dice.
Somebody just kill me. Finish the damn job. I come to save you. Got him. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius. They are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. The jackal and scorpion are here. This guy trying. Has more valuable information. Yeah. I need to bring him back to Caesar. All right, I need to carry this dude back to Caesar. And the jackal and the scorpion are trying to uh, surprise and slice and dice Cleopatra and Caesar. It sounds like they want to make madness out of everybody. I is pretty lithe and light, so she should be able to run quite well. Hopefully, Bayek is distracting because uh, I don't. I don't know if there's still guards here or not, but I'm a little worried. Yes, there are definitely guards. Let's run. We're gonna have to move Die, quick, Aya. Um, and then also they made mention of someone called the Give Lion. Did you hear that? I don't know who the Lion is, but clearly that's a boss. Clearly that's a big dude that wants us dead and wants everybody dead. I, there's gotta be an exit, right? Thank goodness. All right, we're just gonna run straight through the city. Use the civilians as cover anyhow. So I bet the Lion is the dude on top of the totem pole then so we've got jackal and scorpion the next uh part of the pyramid and then it sounds like the lion is going to be the top only fitting detroit lions greatest ever the lion king of the jungle lion king of the order that makes sense right so we chop off all the heads of the snake but there is still a lion lurking and a lion that leads the way so we will have to Go and make sure that he has wounds that are not even lickable. Paws that are not even plantable in a mane that is more than mangy. All right. First, though, we got to get this guy to Caesar, see if he has more information. And then we've got those two dudes who are preparing for their betrayal. And uh, we're going to have to find a way to, to stop that. And maybe we can take two out with the price of one. <laughs> or maybe it'll be two separate assassinations. I'm not sure. Maybe... Bayek takes care of one and uh, Aya the other. I'm not entirely certain. Maybe we'll tag team. We'll control one with the left stick, one with the right stick. It's going to be some some awesome uh, Brothers Tell Two Sons gameplay. All right, drop this guy. Let's see what he has to say. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, Alright, so I is gonna accompany Caesar. We gotta go drop this into the big old torch. I smell war! Yikes. We will put our queen on the throne. 
You are the only queen worthy of the throne. <laughs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. Proof Caesar wrong, my love. Good, more eye action. I like that. She's a tough cookie. Best Whoa, that, that boat was dancing. All right, we cannot be seen. We got to reach the top of the pharaohs. And we're going to climb this way. I do want to point out, there is some, uh, it could be a red herring, but there's definitely some foreshadowing. They lined C, um, Cleopatra up right with the head of that lion pelt. So what if Cleopatra's the lion trying to take down Caesar and trying to just take over all of Egypt herself? She doesn't want any help. She's using Bayek and Apollodorus and Aya and Caesar as a means to an end. She's actually the lion. She's the one that set this all in motion to disrupt and destabilize Egypt, and then she is going to be the one to conquer. Who knows? Just a guess. But that was an interesting shot that they framed with the lion head right below Cleopatra, wasn't it? And I had just made a grave mistake. Now we're underwater. It's going to get things, make things a lot more difficult to stay uh, unseen now that we're at ground level. But we'll do our best. All right, all the soldiers are dead anyway, so it's just a bloody mess of bodies. So running through the streets isn't so bad, I guess. Nobody even around to, to mess with us. All right, Aya, let's climb here. All right, so tuck that note about Cleopatra and the lion away. We'll, uh, we'll check it out at a later date, I'm sure. I mean, they're going to tell us at a later date. We'll find out. We'll for sure find out. But right now, we got to focus on reaching the top of the pharaohs and lighten this fire with the special powder to alert the rest of the army. Mm. Can she not make this leap? There we go. Nice. This is kind of cool. Oh, no. I had... Ooh. That was spooky. Glad that she's able to grab a hold. Kind of like an obstacle course here, huh? Alright. Climb the rings now. Let's go inside. Hey! Alright, so she does have some little blades here. Ow. Ow! Why can I not target him? Right? Like, the camera, like, won't... I can't move the camera. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Dang it. No! Listen. My blade is offended. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to go grab a hold. Let's go sideways. Can you make this turn, Aya? I don't think she can, unfortunately. I wish she could just can't. Can she not go around a corner? Let's see. I guess there's no chance of that happening. All right. These dudes are all waiting right by the door, though, which is awful. Okay, they left. Or at least one of them left. Okay, they have definitely forgotten about me. Have to go through this window and then I have to run up and probably jump back out a different okay let's just go for it I'm through ow at least I got full health back okay that's not an open window 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 
No open windows. There we go. All right, I'm back outside. Whoop. All right, keep on climbing, girl. And we reached where we need to be. I thought I heard a scarab rolling up my tower. Oh God, who is this? The Guardian. You remind me of the Alexandrian horse I am gifted by the Order of Ancients. Perhaps I will give you a round. Yikes. This Pharos is Ptolemy's. Be gone! This Pharos will only welcome you. Yikes. I feel like this guy is like worth using. I love how the arrows are all going in his body. There we go, that's punishing. Ooh, and then we can chain attack into it. I uh, got some new moves that even Bayek doesn't have yet. Okay. So this is gonna be way faster. There we go, we got this guy. You're so done for. Guardian gone, light the Pharos. Let's do it, Aya is unstoppable. Her and Bayek are just such a deadly team. Imagine if they went into the, uh, the Gladiator arena. They'd be better than the brothers, they'd be better than Bayek and his uh, former C1 friend. They would be unstoppable together. Alright, so almost the top, we gotta keep climbing. It's only 40 more meters. And there's a sink point up here as well, so hopefully we can grab that. Yeah, let's actually go try to grab that first if it'll let us. The gilded top up here is very pretty. I'd love to... Will it... Can, can I even do this? I don't know if she can. I'm assuming yes, right? Senu has to know Aya, right? Let's see. Yes! Aya can sink. Let's give some of those perception points to... Hubby's bird. That's a very pretty tower. Sync complete. Good. I'm glad that it let us do that. That's that's smart. Would have been really annoying if we climbed all the way up here as her and then had to do it again as Bayak. Alright. Light it up. Pour in that powder. How in <gasps> Zeus' name did you kill my captain? Oh. Wow.